starting. Okay. Back for more. Mass yep. Effect. Yep. Last time. Right. Last time we're last time we're here. Uh shit hit the fan. No surprise. <laughs> no surprise. So let's see if there's anyone alive around here. No, not in here. There's Just a Krogan heavy armor. <laughs> oh my. Ah, even though there's no aliens on this planet other than, you know, the robots and the one that came with us. Why, why did they have that? Shh, don't ask questions. Oh boy, hacking minigame! Let's see if I remember how to do this. Got it. Oh, it's Rogue Leaf. <laughs> Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Well, he's What's wrong with your assistant? <laughs> Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it bad to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Nah. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the vegan? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. <laughs> Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The Prophet leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. <laughs> Poor bastard. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Any loot? Any loot? No loot. Did you just get point, Paragon points just for not punching him? Mm, a lot of your dialogue choices will give you Paragon or Renegade. Ah, okay. Cutscene! Found Nihilus. Indeed. Nihilus. That can't possibly be good. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Remember what the crazy guy just said? What is yep. Off in the distance. See you this much. It's a shit. Look at the size of it. Yeah, that's a bit big. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger gun.
you fling a ship at it, right? That works. <laughs> Not good, not good. Uh, so one problem with playing this class is I've got light armor. All targets yeah. down. Hello there. Everybody stay calm out close. there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean Beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the dam. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably <laughs> trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. I just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. I figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. And this is why I want Paragon points and Charm points. Hmm. Because if I put Intimidate, I could have gotten that, but... We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Interesting. He's still in a weapon over there. Yep. Yeah, weapon upgrade is what I really want. Level 1 detection, so I can cut through level 1 jamming. That sounds useful. Cause nothing's more annoying than enemies that jam my little r radar down there. Ah, okay. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm 
I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? <sighs> if you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Didn't have high enough charm. Oh. Well, it's fine. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a mass. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. What woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find <laughs> that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Alright, anything lying around? Yes! Water. Also, yeah, because it's standing in a fire. Why would you just stand on fire? For loot, of course. Yeah, especially for loot, obviously. Medi gel, gonna need that. Especially since my health is non existent. Especially if they're standing on fire. <laughs> oh, hello. So, only more yet. Pretty much. And it's gonna be so much better towards the end game when I have lots of skill in assault rifle and other recoil absorbers and better assault rifles. Yeah. That's quite a bit of shielding. Time to snipe. Ow. Felt that. Yeah, that's how I put it. Wrong button. That's also how I put it. Williams, please move. Okay, never mind. Well, William C is gone. 
Eh, Is she like permanently dead? Nah, or? she'll get up. She's just out of the fight. Ah, okay. Because I fucking destroy your charger. Yeah, that's our way. Why are you saying that about it? There. Gotcha. Gotcha, boy. Is that the last of them? Perimeter clear. <laughs> Perimeter clear. Well, aren't you sure of yourself for spending half that fight unconscious? Yeah. That's all time here, yeah, yes, they're wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm wrong. That loot. Set the charges, destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. You know, aside from the smoking crater. Ooh, so he's just casually commanding the gate. Yep. Demolition charges. Oh. The guest must have planned them. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. <laughs> that's not loot. Them them I think that would have been a probably a good spot to snipe. Except I'm on timer. I want to go get these charges done. Yeah, good point. Okay, so one on the left. Yeah, no kidding. My shield saw, saw them though. Yeah. Shoot the less accurate it becomes. Yep. That's a lot, right? Too bad Jenkins had the had the cuts in the buff, huh? <laughs> no kidding. How can you run so much faster in combat? Like daytime or something? No, like whenever you're in combat and when you try sprinting, you'll storm. Um, and so you'll just Full rush, wherever, whatever direction you're looking, and you can deal melee damage, but you have a stamina meter at that point. Whereas now, all I can do is just kind of jog. That's kind of silly. Yeah, well, it's the first game in the series. What do you want from it? Loot! Turian armor! I don't think that's very useful here. Maybe Satan Grove. What's fair? Yeah. Mm. Yep. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Just okay. knock it on its rear. No. <laughs> Stay down there.
Okay, apparently they're bullshit to get me from down there. Your cover wasn't quite so good. Evidently not. I think we got him, Commander. Yeah, husks in this game suck. Yeah, a bit weird that the endless zombies are actually the toughest. Yeah, where. they get much better balanced out in the second game, second third game where they're just zombies. Yeah, like random husk of a taking an entire magazine. One robot gets practically one shot. <laughs> one purpose-built synthetic uh, combat platform takes a couple shots. One. Uh, whatever you want to call what's done to them, body of a human, several se several magazines worth. Dang it! Anything up here? Nice, nice. No, nothing here. Oh, there's something over there. All right, you can't actually jump in this game. Nope. And I think this is a good time to stop the episode for now. I mean, see, you know what? It's the end of the level. May as well finish it. Eh, fair enough. Why did I think that was a good idea? I have no idea. God damn it! Shit. At least you can just retry. Let me in! Is there any penalty for just trying over and over? Uh, most, a lot of time you can't retry. Huh. So so it was, sometimes it just locks you out. Happened. Yeah, sometimes it just locks you out and you'll have to slap Omni Gel on it. Huh. Well, at least that worked. Yeah. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must That's have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're doing it. Well, it's not working anymore. Whoops. But that was quite the mess. Whoops. Hello, Mother Gunship. Wait, that's the wrong game. <laughs> Mind playing that again at some point. Though. And the beacon. He sounds upset. If you're kind of at the beacon that much, why did you just leave it there? She seems used to his temper tantrums. That one is about as emotional as the rest of her race. Emotional. Doctor, Doctor Chuck. No, no, they're I think he's waking emotional. Up. Oh, okay. To be fair, that's the first non-robot member of the race I've seen. So. Yeah. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. 
You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Yeah, those two. The, yeah, the actual lines and the dialogue options certainly don't add, don't match up now, do they? Yeah. That's not the worst. That's not the worst one in the game either. Yeah, so to be fair, I'm kind of used to the. I mean, hey. It could be worse. It could be Fallout Four. <laughs> you said you needed to see me in private, Captain. I won't lie. Yeah, at least the choices are actual choices. <laughs> Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invaded. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? <laughs> we don't know what information was stored in that people. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Right, then. Shoop. Um, that was yeah. a, uh, that was a thing. Yep. Well, enjoy left.
and we'll see you next time.